Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Gorski back, and today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be reading a new story called Captain Invincible and the Space Shapes by Stuart J. Murphy and illustrated by Remy Simard. So this particular story is talking about 3D shapes. Now your 3D shapes are those types of shapes that kind of like pop out. They're easier to handle. You could find them anywhere and everywhere in everyday life. Now we also have other kinds of shapes too called 2D shapes. And those 2D shapes are very flat. Those are like your squares, triangles, rectangles, circles. So we are going to be looking at some 3D shapes today. So let's jump right into our story. Captain Invincible and the Space Shapes. I'm Captain Invincible, King of the Skies. With my space dog comet, I've conquered galaxies. We're fearless in our spaceship, the Hawk, but now we must return to Earth. Getting home will be tricky. Danger lurks at every turn. But our space shapes will help us get there. So let's take a look at the shapes that we have here. As you can see, we have those flat shapes Notice I have a square, four sides, four points. I have a circle, zero sides, zero points. And then here is our 3D shapes. We're going to be talking about them in our story. Oh no, it's a meteor shower. Watch out! If the rocks hit us, we'll never make it home! Comet, push the first button after the square! So here's our square. What's that first button? That's the one! The cube! The radar beams from our directional cube will help us find a path to safety. Good thing the six square faces of the cube are working properly. It takes more than space rocks to stop Captain Invincible. Hey, I did all the work. That's odd. The stars are getting fuzzy. It's almost as though we're floating into a cloud of poison gas. Must not black out must try the cone we're gonna be okay comet the cone will pull the gas in through its base shaped like a circle and send out the clean air through its tip ah good as new Now we can just relax and, what's the matter, Comet? <laughs> oh, that? That's just a flying saucer. A flying saucer? Ah! Only one chance, the pyramid. The square base holds it steady while the four triangle shaped faces come together and shoot a sonic beam that will send that alien ship back to where it belongs, the other side of the universe. We're almost back to Earth now, Comet. We'll be fine as long as we don't run into a galactic beast. Don't worry, Comet. First, we'll send out the cylinder. The circle-shaped base will open up to release a flying sphere that took care of the beast. Woof! Finally, there's a landing pad. So, we hit the rectangular prism button to release the landing gear. And the gear's out. We're almost there, almost. Hey! Crash! What's going on, asked Dad. You woke everyone up. 
Hey, said Brad, look at your spaceship. It's all broken. Go to bed, Sam, Mom said, yawning. You can clean this mess up tomorrow. My goodness. Yeah, it's quite a mess. Tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll be Captain Stupendous, King of the Seas. Well, boys and girls, that was our story, Captain Invincible in Space Shapes. Well, what I want to do now, I want to take a look a little bit closer at each one of those 3D shapes. So hold tight. Okay, boys and girls, let's take a look at the first shape that they were talking about in the story. The first one was the cube. So as you can see, we have those square faces. The faces are those nice, flat, smooth surfaces. That's where those radar beams were coming out to kind of destroy those meteors. But besides just looking at what a cube looks like a little bit more close up, Let's take a look. I took a little hunt around my house to find where can I find some other 3D shapes that could be like the ones we found in the story. So here's our cube and look at what I found as a cube. Take a look at this. This is what you call a Rubik's cube. Now a Rubik's cube is basically like a puzzle game where you have to get all the same colors on one side. It's actually quite challenging, but this is what I found as a cube. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's take a look at our next one. The next one, if you remember, was the cone. And the cone was that particular 3D shape that took that poisonous gas and then released that fresh air into their spaceship. So what did I find around my house that kind of resembles a cone? Well, this is the closest thing I found, which is a funnel. Now a funnel is pretty cool because you can put it in an object like a bottle or a container that has a smaller opening so you could fit in kind of like liquids or um, like dry kind of substances to get it into that particular container. So these are very useful things. So this is my comb. All right, let's take a look at the next one. And the next one was the pyramid, remember? And the pyramid um, has that square base. And remember, it was shooting out those sonic beams to get rid of that flying saucer. So now something particular, it's hard to find things that kind of resemble a pyramid, but there's a family of pyramids. And I have another one here. This one has a triangle base. So this one would be a square pyramid since it has a square base. This one would be a triangular pyramid since it has a triangle base. So what did I find that could kind of represent a pyramid? It's not going to have the square base. It's going to have the triangular base with these little guys right here. Now, if I flip one over, you could see he has that triangle base, um, just like this particular pyramid. And the cool thing about these little guys is that you can use these to help you paint objects. So basically, if you put like a piece of wood down, you could use this to hold the wood and you would actually use it to paint. So these little guys, these 3D shapes, these triangular pyramids help you with painting. So pretty cool, huh? All right. So let's get another one out here. The next one is doubling. So we have the cylinder and then we have the sphere so what did i find around my house that was resembling the cylinder and the sphere well the cylinder pretty easy i found myself a glue stick looks just like that doesn't it see that circle base another circle base just like it and what did I find that represents a sphere here, but cool little ball that we have for our basketball hoop 
in our house. Just like that. See? It's fear. All right. One more object. And that 3D shape is that rectangular prism. Now remember, the rectangular prism they were putting out on the landing pad. It was part of the landing gear of the spaceship, the Hawk. So what did I find? Now notice this particular 3D shape has some rectangular faces and some square faces. So the rectangular prism I'm going to show you, it's still a rectangular prism, but it has some different things. So this is just a basic box. And if you notice, the faces on this box are all rectangles. And that's okay, you know, because it's still a rectangular prism, but it's sometimes the faces could be a little different. Well, boys and girls, I certainly hope you liked our story about Captain Invincible and the space shapes. I hope you like our little quick tutorial on how we find 3D shapes in real life, remember, maybe you can find 3D shapes when you're out and about today. And until I see you again, have a great day. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.